What's going on, visual learners? Today, we're going to be in the neurology section of Memory Farm's Top 200 Drugs Made Easy coloring book, reviewing a medication called lithium. So if you're ready, let's color and learn. They say having bipolar disorder is like having a loose emotional switch. Flick the switch up and your mood becomes elevated. Flick it down and your mood becomes depressed. The switch tends to flip back and forth between black and white without any shades of gray. There is not an inhibitory process to prevent the emotional momentum from building in a particular direction. Lithium is considered a mood stabilizer that is like a glue used to stiffen the switch and discourage the switch from flicking to one extreme pole. This is used to stabilize mood. The brand name for lithium is Lithobid or Escalith, which all have the root lithium in it. A fun fact to keep in mind is that lithium is largely affected by sodium and water balance. Lithium ion is similar to sodium and since water flows where sodium goes, changes in salt or water balance can affect lithium levels in the body. Lithium is one of the most widely used medications for treating bipolar disorder. It helps to reduce the severity and frequency of mania. Some contraindications and precautions I want you to keep in mind. Lithium is considered a near therapeutic index drug. There is a box warning requiring patients to have lithium levels drawn routinely to avoid lithium toxicity. Therapeutic range is 0.6 to 1.2. Lithium is exclusively excreted in the kidneys, and because of that, it requires renal dose adjustments. You want to be cautious in patients with renal impairment. Remember what we said before, lithium is affected by sodium and water balance, so you want to be cautious when putting patients on medications that can cause sodium depletion or dehydration. An example includes diuretics. Okay, so how does lithium work? The exact mechanism is not fully understood. It is suggested that since lithium is an ion similar to sodium, it readily passes through sodium channels in cell membranes. And because of this, it interferes with the synthesis, storage, release, and reuptake of neurotransmitters such as serotonin and norepinephrine, which helps with mood. It also increases the clearance of glutamate, which if you remember is the primary excitatory neurotransmitter in our brain. And this helps with episodes of mania. For side effects, I want you to visualize a lithium battery. Lithium stands for, L stands for leukocytosis, or I would even add lithium toxicity. I is for increased thirst or urination, also called polyuria or polydipsia, which can decrease over time as the kidneys compensate for this effect. T is for tremor, specifically fine tremors. H is for hypothyroidism. I is for increases in weight gain, which is one of the most common and bothersome side effects of lithium. U is for upset stomach, such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. M is for muscle weakness or cognitive rigidity. Some clinical pearls and counsel points for you to know. It is recommended that you take lithium with meals to decrease GI upset. You want to educate your patients to maintain adequate fluid and salt intake while taking this medication as it can affect the blood levels of this drug. Avoid activities requiring mental alertness until the effects of the drug is realized since lithium can cause drowsiness. Advise your patients that it is important to monitor lithium levels, renal function, thyroid function, calcium, and an electrocardiogram in patients greater than 40 years old as lithium can cause cardiac arrhythmias, especially at higher serum concentrations. Okay guys, let's take some time to see how much we remember because review is exercise for our brains. When it comes to the medication lithium, think of a lithium battery as your visual anchor. And how is this lithium battery feeling? It is feeling very bipolar, reminding you that this medication is used to treat bipolar disorder. So how does it work? The mechanism of lithium is not fully understood, but it's hypothesized to readjust balances between inhibitory and excitatory neurotransmitters to stabilize mood. This means that it inhibits excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate while promoting inhibitory neurotransmitters. This especially helps patients who are in acute mania.
What are the side effects of lithium? Going back to our lithium battery, L stands for leukocytosis or lithium toxicity. I stands for thirst or urination such as polydipsia or polyurea. T stands for what again? Yes. T stands for tremors, specifically fine tremors. H stands for hypothyroidism or heart arrhythmias. I stands for increases in what? Yes, you got it. I stands for increases in weight up to 10 kilograms in some patients. U stands for upset stomach, including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And what can we counsel our patients to do to help with this side effect? Yes, we can counsel them to take it with food. M stands for muscle weakness. Okay, some key points to keep in mind. Lithium is a narrow therapeutic index drug. So that means what needs to be monitored routinely? You got it. Lithium levels need to be monitored to avoid toxicity. It is exclusively cleared by the kidneys. So remember that it requires renal adjustments. You wanna avoid medications that can cause depletion of what? That's right, sodium and water, as it can affect the levels of lithium. Aside from that, there are numerous other drugs that can affect lithium levels, so make sure to educate your patients to let their pharmacist or healthcare provider know if they are starting on any new medications. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, click that subscribe button for more. Let me know if you have questions in the comments, and I will be happy to answer them. If you're interested in getting more information about our Top 200 Drugs Made Easy coloring book, I will leave a link to the product below in the description, and I will see you in the next video.